Okay, so this is the difference between uh, glacial till, which is unstratified, and non-glacial till. So hopefully you can see that this uh, gravel here is well stratified. There are a lot of sedimentary features here. Um, you can see graded bedding. You can also see cross bedding. Maybe I could just sort of zoom in on that. So there's cross bedding right there. Very coarse uh, cross bedding. However, the stratification or the horizontal layering, the general horizontal layering here, indicates that this is not glacial gravel. Even though it's approximately the correct size and sorting distribution. The presence of sedimentary features as well as uh, stratification, that's the horizontal layering, indicated as not glacial gravel. Okay, I'll try and show you glacial gravel a little later. So this is uh, glacial till. It is gravel that is deposited by a glacier. Um, and the identifying characteristics of it is well-rounded clasts. However, they're not really, really well-rounded. They are definitely rounded to some extent. Um, oftentimes there are striations on each individual clast. Maybe I can show you that later. Um, those are scratches that are produced when gravel bounces or scrapes against other pieces of gravel or the bedrock. And the other identifying characteristic is that the gravel itself is unstratified. There is no layering, no horizontal stratification. Um, and there really are no sedimentary features here other than the lack of sedimentary features, which indicates that it was deposited by a glacier. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see, if it'll focus on that, the scratches on the surface of this clast. And those parallel scratches are glacial striations, which are present on a clast. It's stuck in there pretty hard. It won't come out. And in addition to the lack of uh, sedimentary features, um, one of the characteristics that you always look for is a very, very poor degree of sorting in terms of class size. And so maybe I can zoom in on that a little bit. You've got clasts of all different uh, sizes. Very poorly distributed. And I suppose even down to these sizes, which have fallen down from the cliff face, I suppose, the gravel face. Anyways, very poor sorting. Okay, since we're talking about till, I thought I'd show you what happens when till um, becomes a rock, when it becomes consolidated or indurated. This is called tillite, which is uh, the rock, I suppose, from glacial till, a conglomerate. This one is very old. It is on the side of the Trans-Canada, you'll hear, as you can tell by the traffic. And it is south of Wawa in Ontario, Canada. This particular outcrop has been uh, highly metamorphosed. It is in the Canadian Shield, um, so strongly metamorphosed. This tillite is uh, weathering very rapidly as a result of the intense metamorphism, which has caused cracks and fractures, which increase surface area, of course, and cause weathering to accelerate. I realize I'm looking at a shadow here, but hopefully you can see that the clasts are well-rounded, very poorly sorted in terms of size distribution and are not layered. They are unstratified. I just thought you might want to see what's on the other side of the road. That is Lake Superior. About an hour south of Wawa, Ontario. 
pretty big lake, hey? It kind of looks like the ocean. You can't see the other side of Lake Superior, even though we're way the heck up on the roadside. Maybe you can see down to the beach. Alright, that's it. Bye for now.